Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to show you how do you interact with Kaggle from your local Python. Okay, so I have opened Kaggle here and this is my Anaconda prompt. Now, if I go to my Anaconda prompt and I type a command like Kaggle competitions, okay, and list, then it will give me list of all the ongoing competitions in Kaggle. Okay, so how I'm able to fetch this data from the Kaggle? I'm able to do this through the Kaggle API. Okay, now how Kaggle API works, I'm going to demonstrate you in this video. So first of all, guys, what you need to do is you need to follow step one. So I have listed all these steps here. Steps one, step one is installing package. What is installing package? You have to go and say pip install Kaggle. Now I have already installed this, so it will show requirement already satisfied. That is step one. You have to do it. Step two, what it says, putting JSON at right location. Now, how we will get this JSON, guys? You have to go to Kaggle, click on your account. Okay. Then you have to scroll down and you have to click on create new API token. At the moment you create a new API token, guys, what will happen is one JSON file will get downloaded. Okay, as you can see for me, one JSON file is downloaded here. Take this JSON file and put this in one particular directory. I will tell you what is that directory. Okay, that directory is if you see here, guys, c users aman r dot kaggle. So in aman r, in my case, it's aman r is my home directory. In your case, it can be something else. Your name. There, there will be a dot kaggle folder. In that dot kaggle folder you have to take that JSON and put it there. That is step two. Once you do step one and step two, then you should be able to run some commands here. So let me show you what are some of the things we can do here. Searching data set. How can we search a particular data set? For example, we want to see different data sets available in Kaggle through let's say keyword Titanic. So you go here, you copy this command and you just paste it here kaggle data set list as titanic say enter what it will give you it will give you a list of all the available data sets which has titanic keyword in it now suppose i want to download one data set from this for example bro a n i k i slash titanic okay so what i will do i will give that path bro a n i k i slash titanic i will give that path this is searching part this is downloading part okay so i will give this path here okay and i will just paste it and then i will say kaggle data set download that particular path so what is happening data set is downloading it already got downloaded and stored in users aman r so using api i am able to download the data from kaggle next thing what i am going to do is i am going to show you how to find a particular kernel Suppose I want to find out what are the different kernels with the keyword iris, for example, kernels means Jupyter notebook guys. So I'm writing like this. All these are different, different Jupyter notebooks available with that particular keyword. Suppose let us change the keyword here and let us write some other specific keyword, for example, image. Okay. What are the different kernels available with image keyword? So these are the kernels. Suppose I want to download one of these how to download that kernel. So we have to go here and run this command downloading kernel, right? So I go and copy this and suppose I want to download this particular kernel. So I cop maybe probably here I need to write it. So I will take a smaller one. J P M I L L E R C V P R hyphen image hyphen classes, right? So if I click enter, then source code downloaded to C users Aman R. So if this is a Python notebook, right? So it got downloaded to my local directory. Okay. So I showed you how to search for a data set, how to search for a kernel and how to download it. Next thing I want to show you here that I showed you in the beginning as well, Kaggle competition list, right? So it will give you all the active competitions currently going on in the Kaggle. Suppose I'm interested in one of these competition and I want to pull the data for that competition. So what command I need to run guys, I need to go here and say Kaggle competition download one competition. Let me clear the screen. Uh, 
So you have to go here and say Kaggle competitions download C Kaggle Survey 2021. Kaggle Survey 2021 is nothing but one competition. Let me show you first Kaggle. See here Kaggle Survey 2021 is one one competition, right? I want to download the data for that. Now here, if you come, you will see 403 forbidden. The reason for that is, guys, you have to go and accept the particular policy of this competition in Kaggle platform. Okay, so you will go here, you will go to competitions and then explore competitions. So you will go to competition and you will just accept the policy related to data and all those things. Right. Once you do that, you need to regenerate a token guys. the old token will not work. So again, you have to go to account again. You have to create a new token, take that token and place that in your folder dot Kaggle folder, right? Go in your dot Kaggle folder. You will place the new token. And once you do that, and once you are able, uh, able to do that and you come and run this, you, you will see that your data is getting downloaded for that particular competition. Okay. Next thing, there are many commands guys. You will be able to push your kernel. You will be able to push your data. You will be able to push your competition, you know, results, all those things. So where is the source for all my learnings from this particular thing is there is a public API documentation in Kaggle page. If you see here, how to use Kaggle. Okay. So all the things that I told you till now I have taken from here and you can just see create a new data set create a new folder create a new version working with metadata interacting with notebook all these things you can explore there is one github page as well i will post the link of both github page as well where you can see all the things that i have explained you with different different arguments and how we can use it okay so i hope you like this video guys you enjoyed this video and this will be useful for you to quickly interact with kaggle through api let me know what the, what other topics you want me to create video on i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care